After 1973, I was in a band called The New Ice Age and featured an Austrian named Carl Ratzer, Billy McPherson, Paul McCandless, and an array of people. There was a club called Fisherman's Wharf, old-fashioned, you know, probably built in the 40s. And Bruce and some of the guys that he was good friends with, some of the musicians, talked them into letting him do a show on an off night, like a Monday night at midnight. And it became the hippest thing ever. I was the house drummer at the um, Regency Hyatt House. Yeah, we would leave there looking for Bruce. Uh, who else? Uh, Captain Bill Kelsey. He was with uh, Al Hurt at the time. And uh, Colin McRae, brother Dave Gardner, Freddie Cole, Nat King Cole's brother. We used to go over looking for Bruce and go find him wherever he was. Just a great looking crowd and everybody was a great player who came to see him. Next thing you know, Bruce has got a big following. And every time we get there, we have to say, well, wait, wait, man, we, we know, can we get in? Because it would be packed, jam-packed. You couldn't even move when you got in. The groove was so thick, you could literally set a dining room table up, you know, all the play settings, the food and everything, and Bruce's groove would be the table. He always had the best musicians. And Bruce seemed to know to pick players, no name players, but the best, and no ego. They were astonishing musicians, but then he made it all into this whole impossible perfection of weirdness. You ever had sex with Derwood Kirby? He's the nicest man in town. Well, you ever have sex with a Derwood Kirby? He's the nicest man around. He's leading 30,000 Portuguese. Idaho to take all the napkins out of there. He has such terrific humor and insight. And, and, this, and he has stuff that I don't even begin to comprehend. The real treasure trove was when Bruce would just go into a comic trance and do stuff for like no one could have ever written their plan. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Dr. Hoto Mozambique from Memphis. As you can see, he is performing an experiment on Kizar Bush. He was arrested in Memphis for stealing addresses with the house number retrieving group. This is with Captain Electronic in his house number retrieving group. As you can see, he is removing the empty film pack that is stuck in Kizar Bush's body. <laughs> Here comes out the empty film pack. Oh, oh, oh. 